In this tutorial, we're going to look at some of the many different ways that you can find the largest number in an array using JavaScript. Hi, this is James from Junior Developer Central and welcome to JavaScript Snippets, a series of tutorials where we look at some of the key things you need to learn as a junior developer with JavaScript. If you have a second, don't forget to subscribe to support the channel below and so that you don't miss out on any new tutorial updates. Okay, so you're here because you want to find out how to get the largest number of an array in JavaScript. And pretty much the simplest way you can do that straight off the bat is to use the math.max function. So it's a built-in function and it actually takes a set of numbers. So you would normally have to type in the numbers one by one as separate arguments. But if you use the ES6 spread operator, you can actually just pass that straight in as a variable. So we have our numbers array already defined. And if we pass it into that function and run it, you can see it tells us that six, the last number, is the actual highest number in the array. But there are quite a few other ways that you can find the largest number in an array, and they offer different amounts of flexibility. So we're going to create a function now, which will go through a couple of those different ways. So uh, the first way is to use a for loop. So I'm going to create a new function first of all, just called largest number, which will accept an array of values. So inside our function, what I'm going to do is just define a local variable, and I'll just call this highest for the moment, and set that equal to zero. And what we'll do is we'll set up a for loop. So our for loop will go through the length of the array and just check each item as we go. So if we say for each values item that we have in there, if it's actually bigger than the highest value that we have set in the variable above, which at least the first one should be because highest is set to zero initially. Then we'll just do an assignment and say highest is now equal to values i. So in our example, the for loop should run through all of those six numbers. When it gets to six, that's the largest number and that's assigned to the highest variable. And we'll just return that when the function or when the for loop has completed. So let's call that now with the numbers array that we had set up at the start. And when the code runs, you can see we get the exact same value back. So let's just put a different number in our array just to make sure that that's working okay. So let's say seven. Yep, okay, so it shouldn't really matter with the order and where the highest number occurs. We're always gonna get the largest number out of the array. So whilst this seems a lot more complicated than just using math.max, you might be asked, for example, in a coding interview that how to do uh, the largest number kind of algorithm without using any built in functions. So this is probably the simplest way to do that. The tricky part comes when you have other arrays of numbers within inside the initial array. So, for example, let's say we had one, two and three. And then after that, there was a nested array inside there. So we had four, five and six. And possibly we could even have another one inside there as well. So maybe we could have seven, eight, and nine. So now nine is the largest number in the array, but it's nested inside another sub array. So neatening up our array might look something a little bit like this. And when we run it, we now see that six is the largest number in there because our function doesn't actually go down into those nested arrays to check if there are any large numbers inside there. So what we really need is a function that flattens that array into a list of numbers, and then we can find out what the largest number is from there. So flattening an array probably needs its own snippet tutorial in itself, but let's run through it here now because it is applicable to this particular problem, especially if you're trying to solve this as a, at a coding interview. So we'll create a flatten array function here, and I'll just call it flatten. And again, that takes in an array of values. And we're going to chain a few functions together here to get the result. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do is we want to reduce the array that we pass in. And if you've come across the reduce function before, you basically pass in a few things into it. And it's the first is the accumulator, which is kind of like the end result of what everything gets reduced into. And you also get each item in the array. And you can also access its index and also the array itself. So within our reduce function, what we're actually going to do is return the accumulator each time. And we're actually going to concatenate an array on top of that because we want to actually merge all those arrays into one. And we're going to actually do a check here to say, is the item in here an array? So we're going to do that by 
using the array.isArray function. And this basically just returns true or false depending on whether the item we're checking is actually an array. And we'll pass that into a ternary operator. So if the item actually is an array, we want to pass that back to the flatten function to go through this process again and reduce that array into a series of numbers. Of course, if the item's not an array, we just want to actually return the item because it's just going to be one of the numbers on its own. So just to finish off our reduce function, what we actually want to do is you can see that it accepts another argument in addition to the callback function which we've just defined, and that's the starting value. So I'm actually going to put in there just a blank array so that we're starting off empty and the accumulator can gather up the rest of the values in all of the other nested arrays. So going back to where we were logging out our largest number before, if we also add in another console.log and flatten the array by passing it into the flatten function, and if we log that out to the console as well, you can see the numbers array no longer has the nested arrays inside it. So we could actually just pass that inside of the largest number function as well, so that so that the largest number function itself can do the work of finding out which is the largest number in that array. And if you compare the output on the right hand side, you can see the largest number is 9 and that's the, exactly the output that we get when we pass our flattened array into the largest number function now. Of course there are lots of other things that we can do to get the largest number out of an array. We could use a reduce function on the list of numbers in the array itself or we could do a sort function as we've done in previous tutorials with finding the largest string. There really is quite a lot of different options but probably sticking with the math.max function or using our own largest number function with a for loop are the easiest ways to do it. So that's it for this tutorial. Take a look at the link below for the code if you want to have a look at that and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any tutorial updates. See you next time, bye for now.